Hey guys, I'm back, and we are going to start Golden Sun Dark Dawn 2010. Wow. Um, I gotta say, I am nowhere near as familiar with this game as I am with Golden Sun 1 and The Lost Age. So, um, and I do know that this game has some missable gin. So that's a that's a big deal. Um, I may have to find like a quick missables guide just to reference in the future. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and use the defaults. Go ahead and stick with uh, Matthew. And I've got the screen set up because I know there will be a few times where the um, the game uses the double screen in this fashion, so I kind of want to preserve the orientation. Long ago, the ancients of Weird discovered the secrets of alchemy. They found that all life in Weird was based on the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. They used their knowledge of alchemy to forge a dazzling civilization from the elements, and the ancients made their wildest dreams come true. And then began the nightmare of alchemy. Okay. This is all stuff from before the first game. Whoa. Abuses of alchemy threatened to tear apart the entire civilization. Oh, their entire civilization. So the ancients did the unthinkable. They sealed away the power of alchemy so no one could use it. Civilization was saved, but the physical world itself began to die a slow death. For the ancients didn't realize that alchemy was what held weird together. Without the force of alchemy, lands went barren, seas went dry, and the planet began to crumble, and civilization fell into the darkest ages that came before its final, fatal extin extinction. What? The ancients had sealed away alchemy to save civilization, but they had doomed Weird, the planet. I'm liking these uh, graphics so far, just having the stuff come in and just be there. But while the oceans churned and life on the continents did slowly, oh, slid slowly toward oblivion over the eons, a legend was kept alive that the key, that held the key to Weird's survival. If four elemental lighthouses could be ignited, their energy would trigger the golden sun event over Weird. The golden sun would unleash the force of alchemy, saving the world. 30 years ago, a group of heroes did save the world with the golden sun, but now a shadow, shadowy threat is spreading. So yeah, the end of Golden Sun, the Lost Stage, was the Golden Sun event that happened 30 years ago, according to this game. Camelot presents. I guess I don't need to read that. Uh, the last stage started with a, uh, a seagull thing. Oh, we're not done with the text scroll. It has been 30 years since the Golden Sun event over Weird. The, gold, the world was saved and changed. Eight heroes took part in the quest to light the elemental lighthouses. Four of these brave warriors were from the town of Vale. The warriors of Vale, as they are now known throughout, the Weir throughout Weird, are praised and blamed for their efforts. They had long lived at the foot of Mount Aleph, home to a people charged with a sacred duty from the ancients. That was to protect Soul Sanctum, where the forbidden keys to the elemental lighthouses were hidden. It was also home to the godlike Wise One who protected Weird. Bale kept the Sanctum secrets for generations, ever vigilant against the return of alchemy. But the warriors of Vale were among those who pursued the forbidden 
return of its power. Because of their courage, the world of Wayard was saved 30 years ago. Yeah, who, who's blaming us? We came to the conclusion that if we didn't restore alchemy to the world, the world itself would fall apart and be destroyed. But while Wayard was saved, the new dawn of alchemy has been anything but bright. For while alchemy brings life, it has also unleashed chaos. When the Golden Sun event happened, raw power exploded from the sky above Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph was largely destroyed by the explosion, and not a trace remains of the peaceful village of Ale. That's true, that's how uh, it looked at the end of the Lost Age. The planet itself Ugh. The planet itself is still caught in the violent throes of rebirth. Natural disasters continue to torment the people of Wayard. But the survivors live on, driven to new desperation, and the good people of Vale, though forced to, res though forced to resettle, continue their sacred vigil. They persist in their duty to Soul Sanctum at Mount Elif, or at least what remains of it. Two survivors live near the crater where Vale once was. The area rocks with eruptions, but they still watch Mount Elif from the newly upheaved Goma Plateau. They're Isaac and Garrett. Two of the Warriors of Vale. Oh, I guess that's it. Oh, yeah, double screen stuff going on. These men, praised and blamed for the dawn of this new day, study the after effects of the Golden Sun carefully. And from their lookout cabin, Isaac and Garrett also train their children to be powerful warriors. For this world will soon need a new generation to face the darkness of this new dawn. Cool. So, I mean, the story set up sounds great. Sounds like uh, what I would want a sequel to be. Hold on. Can we... Um, let's see if I can figure this out here. It increases the screen, but oh wait, I need to do that's what I need to do. Okay, let's go with that for a while. What a relief to have that journey behind us. Let's just drop our packs here, son. That's Isaac. He's an old guy now. Well, I mean, I guess he'd be in his 40s, maybe 50 almost. Now nah, he'd be in his 40s, right? He was a probably a teenager in uh, the first game. 30 years later, yeah, he'd probably be in his 40s. You're getting stronger, Matthew. That will serve you well, since life here at our cabin isn't easy. Tap. This is a little tap thing. As you explore, you'll discover many new people and places. Tap names to get more details. You can also use LNR to view these special insights. When you look at an entry, it will be added to your personal encyclopedia. You're getting stronger, Matthew. That would serve you well, since life here... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this young man is a promising Earth adept, just like his father was when he started his adventure 30 years ago, and just like Isaac, who led the famous Warriors of Vale. Matthew is a person of few words but strong convictions. He's a silent protagonist, eh? Oh yeah, they, they still have the, uh, the, like, face bubbles from the first game, but they're just a little more, I don't know, colorful in this? They're not, like, speech bubbles with faces in them, like they were? Uh, yeah. But that's enough work for now. Let's call it a day. The view of Mount Aleph today is spectacular. What a shame things can't always stay like this. What's Mount Aleph? It's like using your, I don't know, scan function in the middle of a game. 
This mountain, home to Soul Sanctum, was mostly destroyed when the Golden Sun effect exploded above it. The mountain once stood over the town of Vale, which was obliterated by that cataclysmic event 30 years ago. The explosive Golden Sun event. Oh my gosh. See, I don't know. I'm already kind of like, I don't want to read all these. I know what the, the history is. Alchemy. What's alchemy? So, if you guys don't mind, uh, I think I'm going to skip through the... Um, the encyclopedia entries I guess I'll put them on screen for you guys if you really want to pause the video and read it but uh, I'm not going to read through all of them out loud we were the ones who saved our world from destruction by doing so but the golden sun also brought chaos yeah, that face flash over his head there, there's like some opacity to it so you can like see through it which is not great because it makes like his hair kind of color through it so it kind of blends in and you can't really read the face that well and it went by super fast I feel like they paused on the face bubbles in the first two games a little bit though our world has been reborn people are disparate Ugh, disparate? desperate? desperate? And they're driven to fight like animals. Well, that's offensive. There are some half-animal people in this world. And while civilization is ruled by chaos, the land is rocked by eruptions that exploded outward from Mount Aleph. All of our continent of Angara, even all of Weird itself, has changed so violently. I fear I know why. He fears he knows why? Oh, because of the Golden Sun event? But, I mean, you had to do the Golden Sun event. It was saving the world. All this chaos comes from the reemergence of alchemy. The key to understanding alchemy is at Mount Aleph, within that place where it all began, Soul Sanctum. I appeal to you, wise one, who watches over all of Weird. This absolute being. Looks like a floating boar with one central eye. He watches over Weird and holds unimaginable power. The wise one is known to be what the ancients called a philosopher's stone, a creature they forged through alchemy. So the wise one is not like... Uh, the wise one was created by humans? I guess that wasn't necessarily clear in the uh, first games. But interesting. Have mercy on us, or give some sign of what we must do next to save our world from chaos. Why are you appealing to the wise one? He's never been great for that kind of stuff. Oh, there you go again, Isaac. Wise one this, wise one that. I'm with Garrett on that. Isaac? Who the heck is Isaac? <laughs> Look, wringing our hands and invoking the name of that godlike hunk of rock isn't going to help matters anyway. Or any. We did what we had to do to save Wired. We released alchemy. Now its sheer force is out of control. I know, Garrett. That's why we must learn more about the synergy vortexes. Yeah, so Garrett is Tyrell's father. A fire adept just like his son. And, um... Yeah, I guess we don't know who these kids' mothers are. Maybe. We'll keep reading. I don't think we find out. These distortions in space that suck the elemental energy out of the world and from adepts, they're thought to be an after effect caused by the Golden Sun event. So yeah, Synergy Vortexes, that's, that's a new thing. I wouldn't be expected to know that from the previous game. These vortexes have come in the wake of the Golden Sun event, and they are tied to the deadly Morning Moon. Huh. The Golden Sun and the Morning Moon. This immense synergy vortex once unleashed unimaginable destruction in the center of Angara. The misery it caused was so widespread it became known as the Morning Moon. Fortunately, our old friend Ivan has made that a whole lot easier by building the Soar Wing. This remarkable invention allows its wielder to glide upon the winds, soaring. Soar wings are hard to make, and so are quite rare. Ha, huh. and there's an image. I guess I didn't, uh, there we go, Ivan. 
Now we can quickly fly in search of synergy vortexes as they pop up around the veil area. Most importantly, we can fly over the impassable terrain around Mount Elif to reach Soul Sanctum. I wonder if the Wise One is even in Soul Sanctum anymore, given all the eruptions nearby. Then again, he's not flesh and blood like us, so maybe all this doesn't even bother him. That's all the more reason we should take the Soar we should take Soarwing lessons from Karis. Another new character, this young wind adept has long known Matthew and Tyrell often visiting them at their uh, Goma Plateau cabin. Her father, Ivan, was a warrior of Vale. She has inherited her father's indomitable spirit and powers of observation. Indomitable spirit? Uh, I don't think Ivan was too uh, indomitable when we first met him. She's every bit of d as disciplined as her father, so we couldn't be in better hands. Get off the roof, Tyrell. Ah, uh, jeez, is that a callback to Golden Sun 1? Oh, yeah, Tyrell, new guy. Uh, this young man is a fire adept and following in the footsteps of his father, Garrett. He has a reputation for being a troublemaker, but Matthew is still proud to call him his best friend. And here comes the thing that ruins everything. I'll be, known bef I'll be down before anyone knows it, Karis. Karis? Karis? Don't be stupid, Tyrell. It's slippery up here after last night's storm. Oh, you can fall for all I care, but don't break the sore ring. Sore ring? Sore wing. Don't be so uptight, Karis. I've got it under control. That fool son of mine. Oh, now I remember now. Oh, yeah. So instead of the yes or no um, responses, every now and then you can use the emotion menu to communicate what you think. Choose the smiling face to respond in a glad, easygoing way. And select the gleeful face to show that you're feeling very positive and gutsy. Select the sad face to show you're feeling glum or troubled. Choose the angry face to respond with irritation. Now choose one of the faces you show to show how you feel about what was just said. That fool son of mine has taken Ivan out Ivan's sore wing. Let's see, what would be the funniest response? Mm, maybe I'm pumped? What sticking up for Tyrell? When's he doing? When's he? When he's doing that? We've got to get that sword wing from Tyrell before he breaks it. Onward. Can I climb the? There we go. Just in time, Matthew. You're a sensible kid. See if you can stop that blockhead. Get over there, Matthew. Tuck Tyrell down. Psh. You're angry? I'm the one who should be angry. He's been trouble all day. Oh, don't come any closer, Matthew. I told Karis that I only wanted to take the sword wing out for a quick spin, but she wouldn't let me. She was concerned for your safety, Tyrell. Flying it out without proper instruction is too dangerous. Even the wind adept needs special training to fly a soar wing. You can't possibly pilot it yet. Come on, how hard can it be? I mean, you just jump into the into the wind and act like a bird. What? That's bird brain, son. You're going to drop like a rock into the valley below. You're wrong. You just don't have any faith in me, Dad. <laughs> and I'm fed up with people not taking me seriously. He's going to do it. There must be something we can do to stop him. He's beyond reason. Our only chance is to render the sword wing useless before he takes off. I'm not scared. Not scared at all. If you take off, you won't be able to return here to the plateau. You'll drop toward the forest below. This is great, but wait. I really am dropping lower. Oh, now he gets it. You don't have the synergy to maintain altitude, Tyrell. But Dad and Isaac have the power to fly it. 
They looked at her like we do. They're extremely skilled adepts, that's why. But you're not, Karis. You're an apprentice adept, just like me. But I'm a wind adept. I'm already used to controlling the wind. Gah, it's true. I'm dropping lower. Spiraling faster. Help! What a disaster. Tyrell won't last long in the forest. It's too dangerous. Cool. You're right. It won't help if we panic. We need to think. What? I wanted to make it sound like I was cool with that. But they took it as, I'm playing it cool. I've got it. He can fly over the forest valley, then land at the cave. That's his only shot at surviving. I'd better tell him quickly. Listen, Tyrell. Help me. You're already too low to make it back up here. Gah, you're right. What can I do? Fly to the far side of the forest. There's a small peak there. I'm falling too fast. I can't get there, Isaac. That's Sir Isaac. Mr. Isaac. Come on. I hope you're right about, it, about this, Isaac. This is no time to doubt yourself. You said you could fly, so fly. <coughs> fly to the cave, then take cover. We'll get, well, we'll get to you as soon as we can. I don't show doubt. <laughs> what? I'm a goner if I give up? That's not very encouraging, Matthew. Just go already. Don't waste another second, Tyrell. You'll you'll all come and find me, promise? You're my son. I won't leave you to wolves. Now get going. Fine, I'll head out. But you'd better come get me or else. Or else what? Dude, you put this on yourself. They tried to stop you, and now you're saying they better come help you. He's doing it. He's gone. I hope Tyrell can really make it to the other side of the forest. Mm. Anger. Hear that, Garrett? My son has spoken. We'd better not fail yours. What? What did I even... What are they implying I said? I, I was like angry. Huh. My son has spoken. We better not fail yours. Okay. You have to let Matthew and me go with you. I'm worried about my father's sore wing. It's so incredibly difficult to make them. We know how valuable the sore wing is, but... And I feel responsible for Tyrell, too, if I'd only kept better watch over the sore wing. Nonsense. My son is always acting like a fool. You're not to blame. Garrett, we should take them along. You can't be serious. They're just kids. I'm dead serious. They're willing to brave the forest below to help Tyrell. They have every reason to just let us take care of this, but they want to help. This is what we've been training our children for, assuming their duty to look after the world. Well, no offense to the kids, but they're going to slow us down. Tyrell is all alone down there. Tyrell is more resourceful than you give him credit for. He can fend for himself until we reach him. Hmm, if you say so, Isaac. I'm going to give Tyrell such an earful for taking the sore wing. My, what fire you got in you for a wind adept, Karis. Good, you'll need it out there. Now you both should get a move on if you want to come along. Head inside the cabin, gear up, then meet us at the bridge to the east. Gear up quickly, we need to be on our way. I see a treasure chest. Are you ready yet, Matthew? Isaac asked me to give you something to you. Matthew got a leather cap. Oh, let me help you put that on. Watch how I look at your items, then how I equip one. Uh, select the option name to access your items. Man, they didn't even give me a tutorial for equipment in the first game. I mean, I guess it's quick. One more thing. 
You should save your progress in the travelogue now and then. Watch how I do it. I don't know, I guess... I don't know, this is just the way all games went. This is just tutorializing everything. Which I guess it's, I don't know, it's good, but it just needs to be like, I don't know. There needs to be a way to let the game know, hey, I know how to do basic stuff. It saved for me, I couldn't even like, not save. Yeah, Matthew. Can I sort my weapons? Or I guess it auto sorts. I guess that's nice. You're not ready yet? Your weapon and the other piece of armor are in the chest of the cabin. Find them and make sure they're equipped. I equipped my sword. You're saying there's another thing around here for me to find and equip? No, yeah, there it is. Again, I have played this game a total of... Uh, the chest is empty. Two times before. One time was literally just the first time I ever played it. It was a blind playthrough. Didn't realize the remissible uh, gin. And then the second time I played through, I, I used the guy to, you know, be able to make sure I found everything. Traveling with synergy. People without powers can't get very far through the wilderness. Add up to use synergy. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, keywords. If you want to fill out your encyclopedia, I guess uh, don't skip these. What the heck? Oh, there's an image of a, a rock getting moved. Growth synergy. Earth-based synergy. Do we not need to make a uh, earth and fire combo to use that? Check out this one. No, I want to, I want to read the note. Oh, okay. We're just going to act like that's not a real note. Sure. I mean, I guess I like the updates to the uh, the music. It's all nice. Uh, let's see, what does Y do? Oh, it puts a mini map on my top screen. Now those two should have no problem making their way down from the plateau by themselves. And we'll follow that. We'll follow at a distance. Yes, I get your plan, Isaac, but this has got me worried. Don't be. It's a great chance to see them in action, as long as they don't get in over their heads. No way. Too dangerous. This is a bad plan. They have to learn how to handle themselves. Wow, Garrett's being the uh, the less bold one in this situation. This isn't some practice session. My son is in danger. We have to reach him as fast as possible. Remember, my earth had powers allow me to feel what's happening in the forest. Tyrell made it to the far side of the woods. He's taken shelter. Fine, fine, you win. He can sense that from that far away? So, do I have your word that we'll let them handle their own battles? Hmm. Well, Garrett, I want an answer. Yes, we're, eaves uh, we're eavesdropping. Don't look so shocked. That's the only way to find out anything around here. Right, Matthew? We caught everything. They're planning something for us, right? Um, play it cool. Be excited. Be sad or be angry. Uh, pff, I'll play it cool. I wouldn't be so carefree if I were you. Not when they're scheming behind our backs. What? But we weren't. I mean, we were just strat strat strategizing, that's all. We decide to let you fight your own battles as we descend from the plateau. I suppose you want an explanation. No. Can I say no? There is no no option. Ugh. Don't worry. It's just that I think this is a good opportunity for you two to prove yourselves. Now that you know our big secret, how about we head down to the valley?
Head for the far, far path. That's the one that takes us toward Tyrell. That one? As opposed to whatever's over here? Ah, no, that way, Matthew. Oh, they won't even let me check it out. I like your gumption, Matthew, but you can't do what you want now. Find Tyrell. Uh, I guess they're going to do the same thing. Okay. It's nice playing this uh, emulator just because I can use a joystick to control my character and not like a uh, just the D-pad alone or a touch screen. Hold on. Monsters are nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Stay on your guard. You're on your own against the critters of the Goma Plateau. Ready for this? Um, angry. That's the way you feel? Then maybe you should just walk off on you two. Walk off on you two? Yeah, so I guess um, optionally I could uh, tap to go where I want. But as you saw right there, I barely moved. Ooh, critical, critical hit. Literally fighting slimes. What the heck? Two critical hits. Are they gonna tell me what I just did? Ugh. How you like your first battle, Matthew? I liked it in the first game where no one was there to tell me anything. Now don't forget to exploit your synergy fully during battles. But also know that you can use it while exploring too. Synergy can help you get past obstacles. For instance, you can use Synergy to move objects that by your path. Okay, let's press forward onward, Matthew. There's no going back now. Yeah, so I can tap. Oh, well, I guess I gotta hold it. Yeah, yeah, because if I just tap, I'll only turn around. But if I hold it, uh, I'll just follow wherever I'm tapping. Okay, let's see. Synergy, Whirlwind. Oh, took them both out. That's pretty nice. <laughs> now that's just straight up the exact same sound effect. Oh, right. I can't press A to uh, open up my Synergy menu. Oh, look at that. I just automatically have growth. It's no longer like a pseudo secret ability. Uh, oh wait, no, I want, yeah, let's do that. Oh, hold on, good thinking, Matthew. You're surprised, you've surprised Garrett. He didn't think you'd figure it out so easily. What the flip, Garrett? I know, Matthew, it's like you've known how to do this for years. Still, I bet Garrett wants to have the last word. That means we're not avoiding the tutorial. You bet I do. Okay, when moving a rock like this, be sure to shove it all the way over the edge. Isaac, we made this test for them way too easy. Or way too easy for them. Maybe, but it's just the first step. They put this rock here, even though we're trying to rush to the help of Tyrell. It was so simple, anyone could have figured it out. What's all this about a test? Can you believe this, Matthew? You're both terrible putting this, putting that in our way on purpose. Right, Matthew? Heck yeah. Anger. Don't get mad. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't bother testing you if you weren't worth testing. Okay, shove that rock out of your way. Just in case, let's take a quick look at how you to activate synergy. Ah. Oh. To use synergy, press the icon. Go to your synergy menu. Press move. can't even like mash a button to get through this faster oh my gosh they just overrode my growth synergy shortcut I'm using the R button that way the synergy you currently wield should cover your needs right now synergy can be used in a variety of ways so just keep your eyes open for opportunities to use it 
Now you may be worried that you'll run out of synergy points if you synergy while traveling. But don't fear, your synergy will replenish naturally while walking. Just like the first game. Besides, look over there. They're around Aleph... Uh, brims with elemental power, which crystallizes in the form of a synergy stone. I'm not gonna touch that. Just touch one to restore all your synergy points. Need I remind you I beat Golden Sun and the Lost Age without ever using a synergy stone or resting at an inn? Okay, let's keep pushing ahead. Use synergy to get, to get past obstacles that stand between us and Tyrell. He was so worried about getting to Tyrell as soon as possible a second ago. Now he's just like... Oh, we've got uh, an obstacle to show you how to get past. If I can go down the cliff there. Um, Isaac seems to be good at taking out slimes for some reason. Oh, but that'll take out the slime as well. Uh, yes. So, what I do like about this, actually, is that move is actually a lot more um, functional than in the previous game. It actually has more range. Uh, I didn't really show it off there, but uh, I can the next time we come across one of those. You've made it to the bottom of the Goma Plateau. Good work. Had like three battles and uh, two rocks to move. But we haven't reached Tyrell yet. That cave that Tyrell flew to is still a hike away. I thought we would reach the cave long before it got dark. Now we're in for trouble. I never intended on taking the kids into the, the Tanglewood. Tanglewood. This forest is said to transform at night, changing into a wood that ensure, or ensnares those brave or foolish enough to enter it after dark. Well, we've never been in the forest after night either, but now we have to find Tyrell, so let's press onward. It's always going to say onward, and I have the stylus on the screen whenever I regain control of my character. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, nightfall. Not good. The monsters that come out at dark will be on the prowl. This will make things much more difficult for us. Eh, who cares? I'd be more worried if I were you, Matthew. This place looks dangerous. They'd better keep their distance. They wouldn't want to mess with me and you, Isaac. I'm not sure what to do about Matthew and Karis at this point. Well, we can't just leave them behind, Isaac. Of course not, but they can't go on ahead of us either. Monsters will sense that they're easier prey. Easier prey? Oh no, Matthew. Should we be worried? Nah. Not concerned? I guess it's useless to run scared now that you're in the thick of it. Well then, tough times call for tough measures. We'll lend you some gin. Only until we find Tyrell, however. We're very attached to our gin, of course. You were planning this all along, weren't you? You'll let us borrow some gin for a little while? Using gin to battle will make us much more powerful. Do you remember how to use gin? Yes. Good, but we can never be too careful. Gin offer too many benefits to miss any. We should have one of our gin explain things. Oh my gosh! The Lost Age let me skip the gin tutorial. I'll have Flint explain it to you. Just as he did when we first met him at the start of our very first quest. Okay, Isaac, you want me to explain him to how Jin work? You've got it. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Karis. I'm one of Isaac's first uh, Jin. My name is Flint. I've known Isaac since the day he first left his hometown Vale. We don't have time for reminiscing, Flint. Please, just a primer on Jin. Always in such a hurry. Okay, then. Short and sweet. <laughs> it's like a picture book. 
We gen are nature spirits. So there are four types of us, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. I read this in the encyclopedia. We span the four elements. Nobody cares. Well, I mean, we care, but we already know. The Mars gen are from fire, yada, yada, yada. When you set gin on someone, his class may change. In this example, these two gin make Matthew a brute. Although, uh, really, class changes aren't that big of a deal. Because, I mean, I never really thought about it in the first two games. And that Jin holder's stats, such as HP and PP, may change as well. Changing class can give you synergy, new synergy, while cutting other synergy. Experiment with classes to access new powers. Each Jin also has a unique power. Throw a Jin into battle and it will help you fight. Now watch how to do this. So, I mean, if you were to make a new Golden Sun game, I think it would have to look like this. I mean, I guess that's the direction, like, that's like the art direction, that seems. After a Jin fights, it goes in the standby, yada yada yada. You have to distribute your Jin around evenly. Right? Yeah. You can't pile on one person. Oh yeah, another nice thing about this game is that every djinn has a unique look. So, in the first two games, all the djinn basically, I mean, every Venus djinn looked like every other Venus djinn. In this game, each one has a unique kind of look to it. So, I mean, they all look, like, obviously those two djinn right there look like Venus djinn, but they definitely look different from each other. Because standby djinn can summon powerful spirits into battle. Anyone in your party can draw upon the pool of all Jin currently on standby. Now watch how to summon a spirit. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna have time to do much else after this tutorial? Ramses. paying attention but yeah the top screen actually had extra animation to that I was just looking at the bottom screen like what what did he, he just did something so yeah that's why I really probably need to have this um, two screens set up I understood it all hold uh, that's wait that wraps it up then Thanks for showing us how it's done. Good work, Flint. Okay, let's divvy up the gin. Remember what Flint said about dividing them evenly? Yeah, yeah. Good, because learning how to set your gin is crucial. Let's hurry it up. Tyrell is waiting for us. Gather around those crystals. What? Oh. Is there a thing where you can only change Jin next to specific places? That takes care of dividing up our Jin. Back when I started out, I had only one Jin. Think you two are ready to borrow six? Whoa, heck yeah. Don't, don't get too carried away because mastering Jin takes discipline, Matthew. Isaac, wait. Isn't it time we talked about who should lead us to the tangle into the Tanglewood? I know you said Matthew should lead, but I'm having doubts. I don't think he's ready. Not for what's ahead. Screw you, Garrett. Come on. So Matthew shouldn't be the leader then? Leading people into battle is never easy, kids. Back in the old days, Isaac and Felix were our leaders. Well, clearly you guys think it's an Earth Adept thing to uh, be a leader. And you know, your dad has never been the easiest guy to get along with. 
but we've always managed to set aside our differences. We're a great team, especially in battle. What's on your mind, Isaac? Looks like something's caught your eye. Isaac? Huh? I said what's on your mind. I can usually read them like a book. Even if it's a thick book half the time. Huh, yes. Thick book. Funny. Now, if you're done talking, I have a thought. About the leader? Who's it going to be? Stop being around the bush. Say it already. Matthew will continue leading, of course. What was the whole point of this argument? Just brilliant. We're back to where we started. You want Matthew to lead? Garrett, stop. He'll lead, but now we'll help out in battle. But my son isn't ready to order around veterans like us, are you, Matthew? What? Yeah, I am. I don't think that's getting I don't think that getting too cocky is going to convince them. Just listen, Garrett. You and I uh, just listen. Garrett and I will only assist in battle if you, need, if you need help. But you'll still guide only Math only Karis in battle, Matthew. So you mean that we'll jump in only if we think Matthew and Karis need us? Precisely. Seasoned warriors like us can swoop in fast if things get out of control. Okay, then you two should be fine. So, I guess, what's the point of all this talking about, hey, you can't get a game over because Isaac and Garrett will just work for you? Like, why can't they just have it happen if I actually needed help? Do they really think the player is going to be scared of getting too in over their head without help? I mean, I just think, like, this extra dialogue of game mechanics making up lore reasons for why things happen is just, like, overkill. Of course they will, Garrett. Now let's get moving. You heard him, boss. What the heck is this? It's a root sticking out. Um, well, I guess... Oh, I can't hop across that. Oh, wait. They're here anyway? Karis, try using a gin Torch... Roast your foe, no matter his defense. Spark. Ooh, I love shine. Torch. Oh, so they're just going to stand there? Huh. Well, shine's not quite as impressive as it was before. Oh! So they're not even, like, jumping in when we're in trouble. They're just straight up fighting, but I can't control them. That could have said that could have been said in much fewer words than what they did. There's an herb. I'll sell that later. Is this a thing? No. Just mash attack. That's all we need. Wait, what did that just say? Did it say like a... Just think about my short sword. I think it said it mastered? Short sword. Bramble seed. Can't go that way. Oh. I can't shake the feeling that something's a little off here. Uh, never mind. The forest is just making me jumpy, I guess. Was that a hint? Sap. Spark. Uh, let's summon something. Haven't seen this summon yet.
course it looks a little weird with my screen set up. Wait, now I'm sure that something is off about this place, Isaac. We're not lost, Garrett. The forest at the puts of the Goma Plateau is just living up to its diabolical reputation. So the Tanglewood has us in its grip already, does it? Is that where the Tangle part of the name comes from? Exactly, and a forest that tries to ensnare you is a place to be feared. But we're worries avail, and we can deal with it. You're right. It's well after dark. We're caught in the clutches of Tanglewood. Hmm, the sinister gas, gas is here. The, the lack of bright starlight, the Tanglewood is now at its worst. The Tanglewood, Tanglewood earns its reputation from the way evil energy tangles up reality with corruption. What? People say that those with pure hearts can see right through all this corruption. This changes everything. The boy's in over his head. You should take over, Isaac. Are you listening to me? This isn't some game, Isaac. My son is depending on us. You're saying they have purer hearts than their kids? What is it with you? Now's not the time to stop and smell the roses. Don't worry, we can continue through the forest. Only some trees have been corrupted. Are you sure, Isaac? And there is a way to blaze a trail through the corrupted trees. Isaac, I don't like what you're thinking. Yes, we need to use fireball synergy. That's reckless. The woods will catch on fire. Besides, it's impossible for the kids. Woo! Just listen to you. All ready to tough it out? You're outgrowing us pretty fast. I agree, Garrett. It's impossible to use a fireball to burn these dark trees. See, I told you. We must find a way to burn away the corruption, which seems concentrated in a, uh, the strange roots. I suppose you want me to give that a try. Throw a fireball, Garrett. Would I hurt you to say please once in a while? Just do it, Garrett. Jeez. Really? You gotta show me how you aim? Or you want me to shoot one, your highness? <laughs> Anywhere, just use your synergy already. Hmm, where should I aim it? Over on the plant thing. You won't listen to me. There's a good spot. Well, that didn't work. It's too soon to give up. Try another spot, Garrett. The flower. Uh. No good there either. Keep trying. Oh, you just had it. There you go. See, the path ahead is far less tangled now. I guess you're right. I always am. He's been right about most things for the last 30 years. It's infuriating. So what did we learn here? The corrupt trees have become possessed by evil energy. Of course you couldn't just come out and say that up front, could you? That'd be too easy. I thought it'd be better with a fireball or two. It held your interest, didn't it, Garrett? The trees are corrupted by negative energy, which goes hand in glove with darkness and extreme cold. Which means that the negative energy is valuable to light and fire, or vulnerable to light and fire. The monsters drawn to this dark cold place must be vulnerable to light and fire too, got that? Yeah, I got that. Great, because you never know when these sorts of insights will prove a matter of life or death. 
So that's how to blaze a trail through these corrupt trees, eh? Well, some of us have fire at hand. But only the weak spots of the corrupt trees will burn, so let's remember that. You'll need fire, and I'm sure that one of you will be able to learn fireball synergy. What? But whichever of you it is, you'll need to keep one Mars gin set. Now let's go. Oh, so I don't just automatically have fire. Oh, I already have fireball synergy. No uh, setup needed. That's a growth spot over there. Do, do, do. I'm surprised I'm not getting into any battles. Maybe uh maybe you just can't in this area. Oh, there we go. Um, sure. Oh, look at that. Matthew attacked someone that wasn't his target. Interesting. So they made that change after all. Because, uh, I don't know. I guess from a casual perspective, people may have complained that, um, that, you know, the heroes wouldn't like just pick a new target whenever uh, the one they originally targeted was killed by somebody else. I guess I guess it's better to just go ahead and make it easier for people. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of liked the idea that you had to think about you picking your targets in battle, but now if. Uh, if it just automatically targets the next enemy, then you don't have to think about it. I mean, it increases the appeal from a casual perspective, I guess, is what it is. And there's just like, there's nothing to be gained by thinking more about your targeting now. Are those guys going to finish it off? They don't even have health bars. They're literally just there to uh, take enemies out for me. Okay, okay, okay. So by using move, I can move still only one space at a time. That's kind of infuriating. But I can move stuff from farther away, which is nice. Which will come into play later with uh, more difficult puzzles. Where I have to recognize, oh, there's something over there that I can move. Oh, right. Like, like right now. I wouldn't have been able to move a rock from that far away in the old game. I keep wanting to press A to open my menu, but it's not working. Is this the way forward? It totally is. I can see on my map that there is a treasure chest down right, so that is where I should go first. Oh, it's not even that far. Elixir? Which, uh, unlike Final Fantasy games, Elixir just cures, like, delusion status. So what was that thing about gathering around the crystal? There's the sword wing. It's broken. That's it, alright. So I'm, so I'm bending Tyro landed up there and then climbed inside. He crashed the sword wing. It's broken. The wing. It's totally destroyed. It won't be flying anytime soon. What have you done, Tyrell? 
It could have been much worse, my friend. You think so? Absolutely. We still have our children alive and well. Tyrell is nearby, Garrett. I'm sure of it. Thank the fates. At least he made it. But we still need to find him quickly. Lead us into the cave, Matthew. Okay, so... Um... It's got... It's, I mean... The original Golden Sun had a slow start. Um, this is... Well, I mean, it at least had you doing something at the very beginning. And then there was, like, a lot of talking that went on afterwards. Um... What is that? Quick select? Change how to select commands? Oh, that's just, like, when tapping. So when tapping, you can either tap it once to highlight it and then tap it a second time to actually activate it, or you can just tap once and it's it's done. But I think I need to stop now. It's been an hour, 58 minutes according to them. But uh, my voice is getting tired, so we will have to pick this up next week. Again. Uh, Dark Dawn, it's a bit different. Um, I think we should, I guess, give it... We should look for what is good about it. If we want to maybe make a Golden Sun game of our own, we should consider what from Dark Dawn can we um, see as improvements upon the previous games. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.